Hello, friends. <laughs> friends and welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and take a second and hit that subscribe button today I will be showing you how I made this accent wall let's take a look Ooh. okay so I'm not gonna show you the entire wall because right now the room is a mess I made this accent wall originally for my son. We were trying to give him something interesting to look at, so I was like, okay. He was in this room for a few, probably a, a couple months, and we realized it was way too small, so we moved him next door into my original office and turned this room into my current office. If you want to see more about this wall, stay tuned. Okay friends, here's what I used. Two gallons of paint. One was called Tiki Torch, which was the orange one, and the other Nature's Gift. I also used a painting kit, which was about $13. A plastic drop cloth, because you have to protect your floors, and two rolls of tape. All came out to $88, holla. So one thing about me is that I do not like to plan. I just dive right in. So I use tape to pretty much outline the shape of the abstraction, if that's a word, that I wanted. And then I went ahead and started taping. I made these lines about half an inch apart and I made the space that is between the cluster of lines about seven inches apart. As you can see, I did not come prepared with a ruler, but I still wanted to make sure that the large spaces between each cluster of tape was still about the same width. So I cut a piece of tape that was the same width as the first space between the cluster of tapes, and then I used that same piece of tape to measure the width of the next large space between the cluster of tapes. If that makes sense at all. If it doesn't, then I really hope the video makes sense. One thing that's really, really important is that wherever there is tape, there will be no paint. So, ooh, gift. Sorry. <laughs> I'm impressed by that line. Anyway, so it is important to make sure you push the tape into the corners if you are working with a corner. And it is also important to cut the loose ends of tape because wherever there is tape, there will be no paint and you do not want a funky donkey wall when you paint it. After I finished taping, I used the roller brush from the painting kit to lay on a nice thick layer of paint and I used the hand brush to get into those cracks and crevices. Then you watch the paint dry. Do, 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 do. And this is my favorite part. Oh, it gives me chills. I love watching the tape peel off the wall and seeing what came of this experiment. And I was pleasantly surprised because I'm, I'm telling you guys, I really had no plan for this, but I was like, you know what? If I mess up, guess what? I'll just paint right over the mess up. So, oh, you guys, this, this part, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I continue to carefully remove the tape. And voila, 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 voila. I absolutely loved it. It is breathtaking in person. It is one of my most favorite projects. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because if you don't subscribe, how will you know when I put out more videos? So that means turn on your notifications when you subscribe. All right, friends, until next time.